Hello and welcome back to another SyncRaft Scenario Tutorial. I'm Abel, Product Specialist at Zeiss. So today we're going to show you how to set up and operate SyncRaft Scenario in an LED studio environment like this one right here. We won't show you how to set up your entire virtual production pipeline as this will of course vary depending on your choice of hardware, software and the type of application that you actually want to achieve. But we will run through one of the major factors of this pipeline which is working with Scenario and integrating our tracking data into a virtual production workflow using Unreal Engine. So as you can see we're in a studio environment with an LED volume. And for this setup, we're going to use our real-time camera tracking solution, SyncRaft Scenario, to provide our in-camera VFX. The in-camera VFX is represented as a live camera thrust stream on our LED wall that is tracked in real time. This allows for our physical camera to move around the studio whilst its virtual position is then rendered within Unreal Engine. Essentially, this allows for the correct camera parallax to be used when shooting against the LED volume. So here we have our link and cam bar mounted to our Sony Venice 2 Rialto system. We send our tracking and lens data back to our origin, which is racked and connected to our render engine in the server room. Let's discuss what is important for a good tracking setup. Essentially, your film environment and your use case will help determine whether you use a natural feature or reflective marker configuration. Natural features will work in environments where you have enough static natural tracking points with good readability, such as lighting rigs and physical sets. Also, you want to have the cam bar well positioned and take into consideration what natural features will be used and what camera moves will be performed. Natural features are also affected by light for example, it could be too dark or too bright for these natural features to be detected consistently. So you may need to adjust your cam bar exposure to compensate for these changing lighting conditions. We also provide ND and IR filters that can be mounted to your cam bar to help further negate these harsh lighting conditions. Reflective marker tracking mode will utilize the system's ability to track directly from IR markers that are illuminated by infrared light. This mode takes a bit more time to set up in comparison to a natural marker configuration, but it is more robust and is aimed at a more repeatable and permanent setup. And this is because the IR markers are in fixed positions and are less likely to be affected by any light changes. Both tracking configurations can generate a locked point cloud that needs to be learned. But if you change the lighting and physical sets in your environment, you're more likely to lose tracking features from a natural point cloud. Therefore, in this controlled studio environment, the reflective markers will work best. So ideally, you would place reflective markers across a flat studio ceiling. However, in this studio right here, the ceiling is tilted. So we've actually placed our IR markers on our studio wall instead. The cam bar is mounted at an angle pointing towards our IR markers. Now this setup is of course just one of many, and thanks to the system's flexibility, you can adjust everything to your specific filming environment. So this is the finished setup that we want to get to. And now let's do it step by step. As learned in one of our other tutorials, it is important that your SyncRaft hardware is securely mounted to any camera body. A badly rigged cam bar will negatively impact your camera tracking. The scenario software will indicate when one of these hardware components is not connected. When rigging is finished, we can prepare everything on the software side. The entire preparation for a project can be completely done before your actual shoot. And then afterwards on set, you simply load your prepared project. As you can see, I have loaded our project, which contains all of our saved equipment and tracking configurations. Here you see our prepared camera and all of our prepared lenses. Since our software release 2.0, 
We also support third-party lens templates with lens fine tuning, which you can check out in a separate tutorial. We can now move on to our tracking setup. Within the trackings tab, we go to add tracking configuration and select reflective markers. From here, we can name our configuration and select the camera and lens combination that we wish to use for the initial setup. We now hit save and activate. Now we enter the dashboard where you see all of your live feeds. Syncraft will prompt you regarding the steps to take for the reflective marker setup. Our 3D view gives you a great perspective of the virtual space and allows you to see all of the points that have been picked up and added to the point cloud. Next, we run through our cam bar offset to calculate the physical position between the cam bar and the main camera. After completing the cam bar offset, we see this physical position in our dashboard. Now we can set our zero point. The zero point is a reference point that is set within scenario. This reference point will direct the render engine on where to base its content from. For this, we head over to the edit world alignment tab. We have a few options and tools to help set the zero point. Once happy with the position of the zero point, we can now save this position. Our tracking setup is now complete and your tracking is up and running. If your overlay graphic is moving before or after the camera moves, the delay setting in the scenario software needs to be adjusted. The easiest way to attain the correct value is to set a zero point in front of the camera and repeat sharp pans whilst manually adjusting the delay value. You should be able to see the overlay graphic and the camera feed getting closer in sync as the delay is adjusted. It is worth noting that even with your delay set within scenario, you may need to further adjust your render engine overall delay. We are finished with the settings in Syncraft scenario and the tracking is now up and running. Let's go to Unreal Engine and run through our UE Connect plugin where we will attach our track camera data to a virtual camera within our scene. The first thing we need to do is make sure the plugin is activated. We can see this in the plugins menu. Our plugin UE Connect is available for free on the UE Marketplace. With the plugin installed and activated, we can then go to a live link panel and add the scenario data source. We have a couple of options here, but we'll use the SDK full option for this setup. Simply input the IP address of the Syncraft origin and choose connect. We'll see the data streaming in now and we can choose to save this as a preset to save time in the future. To get this data to drive a camera in the scene, simply add a live link controller to your cine camera like this. And if we want lens distortion, then this can be handled by a lens component added here. And with this now complete, we can move our real camera and see our tracked camera moving in real time. Let's have a look at setup changes that may happen during production. For example, you need to do a lens swap or you need to redo your cam bar offset. So in case you need to switch your lens, we need to differentiate between a prepared lens, which you can find in your equipment list, or a lens that you need to assign from scratch. All of your production lenses should be in your equipment list. In this case, you just unmount the current lens, switch it with the new one, go to your settings tab and select the new lens. Easy as that. If you want to mount a lens that has not been added to the equipment tab, it can take a little bit longer. However, if it is a lens from our virtual lens library, then you can just select the needed lens from the dropdown, set the scale code and you're ready to go. Should it be a third party lens from our template list, then you need to fine tune it, which can take roughly between 10 and 20 minutes, depending on the lens type that you're using. And again, we strongly recommend not doing this during the production. If the cam bar is ever remounted or moved physically, the cam bar offset needs to be redone. An incorrect cam bar offset will lead to misalignment of virtual elements within scenario and within your render engine. The cam bar offset can be redone at any time within the scenario software and is automatically saved. So quite often when you're working with multiple cameras in a studio, it's important that they all share the same world alignment. 
So to help with this, Scenario allows for projects to be exported and moved to other systems. So this works particularly well with marker-based setups where the point cloud and alignments can be completed on a single system and then exported to other systems. This saves setup time and ensures complete consistency between the cameras. Simply select the export option here in the UI. This is only available when connecting from a remote computer and a file will download via your browser. Depending on the size of your project, it can be up to several hundred megabytes. To import your project on another scenario system, simply choose the import option here and upload the file you just downloaded. Once it has been imported, simply open the tracking configuration and make sure the system is in part of the environment that had been learned initially. And remember to update your CAM bar offset as it's unlikely that this is going to be identical to the initial system's CAM bar offset. So now you've seen a full workflow of integrating Syncraft Scenario with Unreal Engine and getting a frustrum to your LED volume. For more information, please visit our website. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.